Hello everybody, I am Melissa Jackson, I'm your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant, and in this video I'm going to be showing you our MOP system. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you is the telescopic mop handle. Um, it's really nice because it can lower all the way down and it can raise up. So when you're going to mop your floors, you want to bring the mop handle up to about your nose level. So that's really nice so you don't have to be bending over when you're going to mop your floors. Um, you can go in a nice figure eight motion here and you don't have to do any bending over. So you're gonna be saving your back. So that's very nice. It's also nice because it can lower all the way down. So any age children can help out if you've got young ones. Um, they can go nice and low so they can help out with chores. And kids love using the mop. Um, you just wait and see, they love mopping. You can also raise this all the way up and you can now use this mop, um, the handle, if you have high vaulted ceilings or fans, or if you have high windows inside and outside, you can have it all the way up to help you with those high to reach places. You can also clean off, um, people use the mop system to clean their walls. Um, you can take it outside and you can use this to clean out your eaves traps. I've seen people clean the siding of their house. So again, this can extend really far to help you with all of those high to reach places. So to show you how to do that, there's a little green button here that you push to take off the mop base. And I am grabbing our Enviro wand, if you have this. I've already taken off the handle of it. And this also has two little buttons that you just snap right into the handle of the mop. So again, you can extend this up and use this way up on your high to reach if you have vaulted ceilings. I have it bent already. If you have high fans, you can clean your fan blades. Um, you can take this outside. This is what I would use to clean our um, eaves troughs. Just get all those leaves right out. So that's really nice. So I'm just pushing those two little buttons and it comes right off. And now I'm gonna put back on the base of the large mop. So at the end of this mop here is a little green button that I'm just pushing straight up and it says lock. So now this mop can only bend this way. And then this is how you can, um, clean your walls. If you have high windows inside and outside, um, you can clean that. Um, so on the back of the mop handle there, you would um, buy the bracket attachments. One attaches here and one attaches here. And then you would take the Enviro cloth and you would attach your enviro cloth and then you would do the same and you would attach your window cloth. This is how you could clean your walls in your house, your windows inside and out, or the siding of your house. Um, and a little tip, when you do attach the enviro cloth or window cloth, I would keep a pad on your mop because there is Velcro and the Enviro cloth and window cloth will stick to that Velcro, so then when you go to take it off, you could ruin your mop, your um, Enviro cloth or window cloth. So again, I would keep a mop pad on when attaching your window cloth or Enviro cloth. So what I have on here right now, this is our dry mop pad. So a little tip when going to use these, um, so this is gonna be like your broom. Um, yellow, sunny, dry. So this is your dry mop pad. Um, before attaching the mop pad, um, you're gonna wanna take it and rub the pad against itself. That's gonna create static electricity. So the static electricity is what's gonna draw and trap in that dirt, that hair, dust, debris, um, right into that mop pad. So. 
What's really nice when you're ready to go with your mop pad, just drop it on the floor and just both of them on the back have Velcro, so I just step on it, attach that mop pad. I'm gonna go to my nose height, and you're just gonna go, oops, I still have the lock on, so I'm gonna take that off, because now my mop pad can move in a 360. So now you're just gonna go in a figure eight motion, and you're gonna go around and clean your floor. And using a figure eight motion keeps all of that dirt and that dust and debris in front of you. And then you make a little pile. So then when you're ready to take off your dry mop pad, you take this over to the trash and you can grab, this is our rubber brush. This is designed to go with the mop system. Um, the rubber brush is the width of the mop pads. So you would then take your mop pad right over to the trash can and you're gonna brush all of that dust, dirt, and debris right into the trash, flip it over, and do the other side. So then you can take off your dry mop pad. <clears throat> and I'm grabbing our wet mop pad. So tip for when you Remembering which pad is which, the yellow is sunny dry. This is your wet, so blue, water, wet. Um, so you're gonna take this mop pad to your sink and you're gonna run it under water and get it all full of water. And keep in mind when you're using the wet pad, it's not the water that's cleaning your floors, it is the microfiber in the mop pad. So you're gonna run a ring all that water out, kind of squeeze it together, get as much of that water off the mop pad as you can. You don't want this dripping wet, because again, it's not the water that's gonna be cleaning your floors, it's the microfiber. So again, I don't have to bend over, I just drop the pad right on the floor, step on it, and then you're gonna go and clean your floors in a figure eight motion with your mop like this. And again, just kind of make a pile if you have any dirt, dust, or debris. And then if you do have a pile on your floor, you can take an Enviro cloth and you can go and clean that dirt right up, that pile, and put it right into your trash can. I've also seen people use the dusting mitt. You can put the dusting mitt on and go and clean up your dirt pile that you have on the floor and put that into the trash. And then same thing when you need to clean off your um, wet mop pad, you grab your rubber brush, take it to the trash can and just wipe all of that dirt, dust and debris right into your trash can. Um, and then the wet mop pad has the back lock in it. So that is the silver, the micro silver that is embedded into the microfiber. So when you're all done doing your job, you're gonna take your mop pad off. You're gonna take it over to the sink and you're gonna use hot to warm water and rinse it off. You're gonna wanna rub your pad together, um, flip it over, rub it together. You're gonna wanna get as much of that dirt, dust and debris off of your pad. And then you just take the hook and you go and hang your mop pad up. And that micro silver, the back lock that's in your pad is gonna go to work and it's gonna self purify this pad. So this is not gonna stink. You're not gonna have mold and mildew growing in your mop pad. Um, so you can use this pad for weeks before having to launder it. So that's really nice. Um, also, if you're going around and cleaning your floors, you can take a spray bottle. If you need a little bit more water, you can spray with some water in a spray bottle if you need a little bit more water, or you can spray the floor and keep going with your mopping. Both the dry and the wet mop pad um, are made of the Norwex's microfiber, so it has the ability to remove up to 99% of chemicals, um, bacteria, 
I'm sorry, it has, it has the ability to remove 99% of bacteria off of the surface of the floor or the surface that you're cleaning. So just like our EnviroCloth, the wind, um, excuse me, the mop pad, dry and wet, both are made of the microfiber also. And another little tip when you're using your mop pads that I like to point out, um, I would do this first with my dry mop pad um, before I do my wet, because I have the wet one attached. But see how I'm standing on each end of the mop pad? So you're just gonna stand on it, and you can lift it right off without having to bend over and do this. But I'm gonna put the mop pad way over to one side here. because I hit my light fixture. So I have it all the way over to one end, and then I have a little flap here. So you're gonna put this down on your floor, and you can flip this little flap up right with your foot, and you can go along and you can do all of your baseboards in your room. So starting off with your dry one, and then when you're doing the wet mop pad, you can go right along and do your baseboards. And then you can step on it, pull it up, and you can offset it even more. So see how much I have it offset for this one. So this one, you can extend it out. If you're in your kitchen, you can go under your um, refrigerator, your stove. You can get under all of those hard to reach places without having to move any of your appliances. And you can go right under, you can go right under your kitchen table. If you're out in your living room, you can go right under your couches. If you're in your bedroom, you can go under your bed. All of those hard to reach places without having to move any furniture. So that's awesome. Um, I just spring cleaned my bedroom the other day and I went under my bed and I pretty much could have built a small, <laughs> a rabbit with all of the dust that I found under my bed. So that's nice. And then I just wanted to show you really quick. So this is the large mop and this is the small mop. So if you don't have a lot of hardwood flooring in your house and you think this one is just too big, this one is really nice as well. Um, this one I use in our bathrooms because I don't need this large one. So really nice to have this for your bathrooms. Um, so this one on here, this is your dry mop pad. And then this is the wet mop pad for the small. So just to show you those. And then just to show you, this is the new Chanel dry. So this would be your dry, like your broom mop pad um, for the large mop system. If you have the Chanel hand towel in your bathroom or kitchen, um, it's made of the same little fingery microfiber, guys. Um, so this has been awesome. I just got this and love it. Um, it collects even more dust, dirt, and debris on your floor. So another awesome product to have. So again, this is the mop system that I just showed you. I hope you learned some um, things from this. Again, you can um, earn this for free several different ways. So if you're interested in hearing about the different ways that you can earn this for free, just contact me. And one more thing I just wanted to end with. Um, I seen a study at one of our Norwex conventions that I was at. Um, I now have a little one-year-old walking around. She just learned to walk. Soon to be having a new one here in a few months. And the study was that they had some um, people rub some garlic on the bottom of their feet. And within five minutes, those people could taste that garlic in their mouth. So it just goes to show when you are walking around on your floors with bare feet, your pets, I have dogs here and we have cats, your pets paws are walking around on your floors. Our little ones, my little one that was crawling around not too long ago with her hands, hands going in her mouth, now her feet, 
Um, I don't have to worry about all the chemicals on the floor um, being absorbed into our bodies, into our bloodstream, and worry about all those toxic chemicals going into any of our systems. So just something to think about of all those harsh chemicals that you may have in your house right now using on your floor system um, that are going into your body and your systems. So um, we love our mop. This is definitely one of our favorite products um, to have in our house. So thank you. Hope you learned some stuff about the mop.